Hi guys, my name is Amanda Louise. I am a physical therapist and personal trainer and today I'm going to take you through this five minute at home warm up. We are going to start with arm um, swings, 10 repetitions forward and 10 repetitions back. Make sure you do a little bounce in your knees so you start getting used to using your whole body for this warm up so we get ready for our workout. Second one here is skaters, you're going to do them alternating each side, a total of 10 repetitions before we move on to windmills. So come out into a wide stance, down touch your toes, one arm goes down to the toes, the other arm goes straight up into the ceiling. As you can see here, I'm doing the bounce at the bottom, you can do that or you can just do them without the bounce. The important thing is that you keep your knees straight and that you twist your torso. So this is the first little spinal twist of today's warm up and make sure you keep your chest open. Try and get that good stretch throughout the back side of your body and the twist in your spine and across your chest here. Then we go into our leg swings. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit with my balance here, but I'd like to try and challenge myself. But if it's too big of a challenge to you, if it is too disturbing, just hold on to something like a chair or hold on to the wall as you do these leg swings. 10 times on each leg. Make sure you swing as far back as you can and all the way up and touch your toe to your opposite hand. So we get full stretch both in our hip flexors and in our hamstrings. Then we go into our butt kicks and arm swings. So this workout at the science, so you're don't, not doing any jumping, you're not making any noise, so you can do it with the kids at home or if you live in an apartment building without disturbing your neighbors. If you want to, you can do these like running instead, but I kind of like them with these arm swings. They're a little bit easier to do, but you still get that nice stretch across your hip, which is usually where we're tight after sitting all day long. Then we go into our high knees, 20 alternating repetitions. Let your knee and opposite elbow meet. Use your abs to lift up and crunch all the way across here. Nice little ab warm-up exercise where we also warm up our hip flexors. As I said, 20 repetitions before we move on to our hip openers. Here you're going to stand with your feet close together, heels and toes together, and then you open up with one foot. Turn your toes straight out to the sides, but keep your heels together when you come down here. Try not to twist your hips and try and keep your shoulders pointing straight forward. We are going to do 10 repetitions here on one leg before we switch and do 10 repetitions on the other leg. While we're doing this, like I said, really make sure you're not twisting your hips more than necessary. What we want is to open up and loosen up inside the hip joint. We don't want to twist our whole entire body. Make sure you keep looking straight forward. Make sure your shoulders keep pointing forward, but keep them back. Open up your chest and try and make sure that both hip bones are pointing straight forward here. And as I said, 10 repetitions for each leg. This is more challenging than it looks and even if your hip is clicking or something, that's fine. As long as you don't feel any pain doing this, you're all good. And it's just a good warm up for you to do. Then we go into our reverse lunges here. Keep your weight on the heel of the front foot, stepping back, coming as low as you can. Really start activating your butt, thighs and hamstrings as you do this. 10 repetitions of reverse lunges so we don't get too tired. This is not the workout yet, it is just our warm up. And then we go straight into a sumo squat hold and torso twist. So come down in the sumo squat position, feet nice and wide hands on either knee and then you twist your upper body from side to side. This is a really good stretch. You'll feel it as soon as you do this, you'll feel how comfortable it is and how seldom we do a spinal twist like this. So make sure you keep your chest open, shoulders back and down, and then we just twist here from side to side, get that good stretch. After this, we're gonna come into a deep squat hold. You're gonna come all the way to the bottom here, try and keep your shoulders back and your chest up and keep that low back as straight as you can. If you cannot sit as straight as I do in this video, that's fine, just do the best you can. We're not having any weight on. And if you're falling back and losing your balance here, just hold on to something in front of you, that's fine. Just work on your mobility. But while we're gonna sit here for five deep breaths and then you're gonna 
let one arm go up, then the other, and then we're gonna do 10 overhead squats. If it's too difficult to do the overhead squats, you don't have to have your hands up, you can just do regular air squats. But again, it's good to challenge yourself. This is a warm up, and we just wanna get out into the position as best we can to warm up every single joint and muscle in our body. That's all for today. I hope you found this helpful and that you're ready for your workout.